International Living and Learning Center is Ryerson's most expensive residence. But have students been getting their money's worth? It sucks because we paid a lot of money for uh, to stay in a supposed to be better residence and we're having problems. The residence cafeteria, Maggie's Eatery, flooded in November and remains closed during renovations. Students are not happy. Especially in the winter, you have to bundle up before you go and then get back, eat, and then get ready and go to class. It, it's kind of inconvenient. But cold food runs aren't the only problem for residents who are forced to use their non-refundable meal plans on food that doesn't meet their dietary needs. Students like Megan. At Pittman, there's almost no vegan options and at um, the Oakham House either. So it's, I don't know, it's really hard to find food on the meal plan. So I've been grocery shopping a lot, like on top of the mandatory meal plan. The Residence Council has been advising students who have appealed to the One Card office for refunds on their meal plans. Typically um, with refunds, there are no refunds, but there are special cases. Uh, if you have a special allergy or if there's some kind of medical problem, you can get refunds. But Director of University Business Services, John Corallo, makes it clear that... Meal plans are compulsory, and so I, as a result, the students are still on a meal plan, they're just on a reduced meal plan. The restoration of Maggie's only began weeks after the flooding, in mid-December, and is scheduled to finish at the end of March. This extended period of renovation leaves residents frustrated. Maggie's, before the break in December, they said um, it should be ready by when we come back, but of course when they say they hope it will be ready, it's probably not going to be ready, which it hasn't. The management is also taking advantage of this restoration period to update the building facilities. The students should look forward to a, um, a brand new lounge area, a new dining area, as well as a brand new servery. Although some residents feel these additional renovations aren't necessary right now. They could do it after the term, the semester, but they're doing it now, so I don't know. Does that make sense? In the meantime, a grab-and-go counter has been set up on the main floor, serving drinks and light snacks. Kitchen construction is underway to begin serving hot meals and return full food service to the residents. I'm Tanya Mehta for RUTV News.